Like, whenever I think about eating snacks, I'm always like, oh man, I can't resist like some ruffles all dressed right now. Then when I'm eating them, I'm like, yeah, this is pretty good. But when I'm not eating them, I'm seduced by the idea of eating them. Whew. Reg me. Reg me at the right moment. Okay, that's not how you do that. <laughs> Chicken biscuits exceed that rule? I, I honestly don't know what that is. Chicken biscuits? <laughs> I'm the I'm kinda dying by the way. I was listening to Dan stream today. Someone said, uh Hey Dan, what's the best kind of burrito? Or uh, Dorito. Subtle difference. He said anything that's not Cool Ranch. Which is just like the kind, like someone asks you an honest question. They want your feedback, and your response is just like, instead of giving you the best, like I give you the worst, and then also, instead of giving you the actual worst, which would probably be like Zesty or something, he gives you a beloved uh, flavor like Cool Ranch. A flavor that is like well known and enjoyed throughout the, the world. Then people said, please give me your real Dorito flavor tier list. And he said, the best Dorito is hard to find. It's in a vintage bag, like a vintage bag, and it's taco. I was like, this inform I can't work with that information. What does that even mean? A vintage bag taco Dorito? Like... Okay, hold on. I got my confidence back. How Stella got her groove back. Oh! No! <laughs> He's right, though. I, I ain't never seen a, a, a taco Dorito, man. I also don't even know what a vintage bag is. Like, is it possible that he, he's just a little out of touch and he hasn't realized that, like, the 70s are kind of, like, hip again? So they're not vintage? That's actually contemporary. And what's really vintage is, like, the weird, like, fake... Uh, digital art of the early 2000s when we were kids? Don't, don't flip me. He's talking about these. Lay's highly successful collaboration with Taco Bell ta prompts chip launch WRBM underscore large. You know what? Okay. You're a VIP. You can give a link. As a result, I will do you the service of clicking the link. Okay, look, I would not describe that as a vintage bag. If you, I'm not saying you're wrong, but if that's what he's describing as vintage, then we need to have a talk. Because it's literally like two thin neon colored laser beams. <laughs> Those are the wrong taco chips? I'm just, like, more than anything, I'm just... I, like, he's picking a fight by saying Cool Ranch is inedible. Like, it's... At worst, Cool Ranch is, like, the second best Doritos flavor. I think it might be the best. Bro, it's not makeable. Maybe if you, if you control, if you roll into it... Yeah, sweet chili for me is number one, but I'm I'm willing to I'm willing to entertain the thought that that's not the case. Okay, so I, I got a new game plan here, by the way. It's almost impossible, but hear me out. What if you could throw a chicken into that chicken and then get an item after you've dodge rolled? <laughs> I don't know if sweet chili Doritos exist in America, but they were introduced in Canada in the the mid 2000s, maybe maybe 06. They're a little sweet. They have a certain depth of spiciness to them. They don't pack like too much heat. I'll admit, it's if you're a spice head, you might be disappointed. But if you just enjoy a little spice, you might uh, you might be surprised. Whew! <laughs> 
Bro, I'm going back to the wheels. <laughs> the wheels are... Uh, it's the... I, I've already put in some legwork over there. Son of a... Land me? <laughs> Take a left right before the wheels? Okay, I'll give it a try. But it's crazy how, like, like the thought of eating a snack is actually, like, one of the most enjoyable feelings in the world. But then, like, the actual taste of, like, a banana is better. But they, like, short-circuit your brain a little bit. You're like, you know, if you had a banana or, like, a bag of Doritos, your brain would be like, eat the Doritos. But when you were eating both of them, your mouth would be like, man, this banana is, like, so much better than the Doritos. It's, it's so weird. Look at this. Like, this is the goat path. I know exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm, I always just... Crunchy... If they could make crunchy bananas... Don't, t don't talk to me about banana chips. It's not the same. If they could make, like, crunchy bananas that maintains... Their fruit goodness? Oh, man. Okay, I guess I'll be going this way. Okay, okay good stuff. Excuse me, where's my save point? Whatever, we don't need it. People told me to go left here. But this looks like it takes us back to the center. Forget that, man. Forget that. I'll just take this path instead. Faster. 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 Crab game. It should be going really fast. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but it's like, it's fucking not. This seems bad. Sigh of Gilead, thank you. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions, thank you. Now we're talking. Reg me. Saved. I don't know what's up with this guy, but... Don't hit your head. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, okay, okay. We can make this, I can make this jump. That's like your first day at the office. I don't know if this is the right path. Please! Oh, what, whoa, 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 whoa. No! I'm say I'm I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. I'm going to live. I'm going to live. I'm going to I'm leaking a little. There's a helicopter? That's not a helicopter. What the heck? Did I need to be on that? There it goes. Who knows? You know what? That's fair. Who, who does know? Where are we going? I don't know. Let's take me down here. Surely they they wouldn't let me get trapped in here. Is there a, a die button? A button that just kills you? You know what? I can get out with the cyclone.
Holy crap. Okay, and look at this. Alt F4. Very clever. Very clever. Mm okay. <laughs> close, close. Hey, that was good stuff, though. Give me another cyclone, please. I learned a lot over there. That's not a cyclone. What the heck is... Oh, this is like shoot balls. <laughs> well, okay, then we'll go back to the wheels for a bit. We, we'll, we'll learn all paths. Dude, I gotta tell you, this weekend, by the way... Reg me. We lived. This weekend, by the way... We ordered some ramen from a little restaurant you might have heard of called Uber Eats. Gave the ba made the baby her own little, oh my god, her own little ramen bowl, little baby bowl, little little broth, little noodles, little chashu, some some of those weird mushrooms. You know what the ones I'm talking about? She loved it. She went crazy for it. I was stunned. She, she's been quite a picky eater so far, which is fair because she is like legit like a baby. But she was going crazy for it. Like we, we each, it was like stone soup. We, uh, we each gave her like half of our ramen. Carol Baskin's doing an AMA on Reddit right now. You know what that means. Tiger King season two must be coming out soon. She did it four hours ago? Old news. Simpsons did it. She's suing to prevent the release? Okay, it's not that sounds like the court's business. That doesn't really seem like my my purview. My my only purview is when's that shit coming out on Netflix. She lost the case and it comes out on Wednesday. Let's go. Purview? Purview, that's perfect. Hello, all you cool cats and kittens. Honestly, though, like, I... And I, this is not, like, a particularly enlightened take. But I feel like for a lot of people, Tiger King was, like, the first true crime show they watched. I, I, I sort of feel like... In a way, I feel bad for Carol Baskin, because, like, it must... Even if, like... You know, it's messed up and kind of humorous for the viewer. Must really mess your life up to have like a psychopath constantly be threatening to murder you and also like pay a guy to come and kill you. Um, but like on the show, people are with the viewers that watch it are nobody has like any sympathy for Carol Baskin. They're like, yeah, but she did kill her husband in like, you know, 1976. So screw her. Don't care. Didn't ask. And I'm like, you don't know that. I mean, like, I know the show presents a very compelling case that, uh... That she did that. However, Serial also presented a very compelling case that Adnan Saeed did not do that shit. And the position of the courts and all the subsequent, you know, verdicts has been that he fucking did that shit, man. So, like, just cause, uh... Just because, like, the filmmakers make it seem like, you know, they're, like, heavily implying, like, you know. <laughs> We're not saying she did it, but, um, he was doused in, like, cod liver oil before his death, and then they show a shot of her, like, drinking cod liver oil in her kitchen. What about making a murderer? It's kind of the same shit. Like, I was all there. <laughs> like, these are real people's lives, so I'll, I'll acknowledge that fully. But, like, making a murderer season one, I was right there with them. I was like, this Manitowoc County shit is so fucked. It's all rotten to the core. We need to, like, get the president on this shit. Then making a murderer season two, like, his new lawyer was like, is it possible that, like, an alien did this shit and, like, pinned it on Stephen Avery? And I'm like, come on. Like, you guys... <laughs> I get it, it's your job, like, I'm not mad at you, but they're like, you know... It's just, it... I, I, let me put it this way, I'm thinking that maybe that's part of the reason there hasn't been, like, a season three. 
kind of stretch the bounds of, of sensibility for a bit. Is it possible? I'm not a lawyer, okay? I anal. The Staircase is an insanely great true crime documentary. I will admit it is funny that the filmmakers also, um, like one of them, maybe the, the principal filmmaker, ended up getting into a relationship with the accused murderer. Um, but that shit is actually like even funnier because the movie definitely makes it seem like he did that shit. So if, if that's a sympathetic cut, I'm not saying he did it because we were just talking about like, I got no idea. It, you only see what the filmmakers choose to show and how they present it, right? But like the move, the, the documentary still makes it seem like he did it. So if that was the sympathetic cut, I would hate to see the cut where he looks like he looks even more guilty. Please, please. Oh, I was there. Anyway, I, honestly, like I'm kind of just, I'm, I'm happy it's over. I'm, I'm just over like my true crime phase. And it's, it's the same thing like as, as Marvel. It's just like you know, there was a while, a, a bit where I was like, every single one of these shows is like really compelling, and then now I'm like, it's all the same shit over and over, like. It's, I, I didn't stop watching them for, like, ethical reasons, I just kind of got bored, you know? It's just kind of weird. You see the raincoat killer? Well, that was the one that I think kind of tipped me off. Like, Kate started watching it. I watched like half an episode and I was like, I don't really care to see the rest of this. I'm just like, I get it. He's like a bad dude. Please. Yeah, I'm saying like my mind is so twisted that true crime is just like true to me. Ninety day though. Ninety day is all. Ninety day is basically, and I I have to defend myself every time because legitimately I watch less than one episode of Ninety Day Fiance a month, and that's not a joke. My trash TV of choice right now is Survivor, um, which is not trash. It's having a renaissance right now. Um, it's gonna come back. First, it's gonna come back ironically for like two seasons. People are gonna be like, "Did you see Survivor, Lamau?" And then people are gonna be too invested to like get out. It's coming back, man. It's coming back. But 90 Day is actually like React Court. Like, it, it's like browsing Reddit's like r slash relationships, but with TLC quality editing. It's, it's perfect. Like right now, just to give you a, a and, and again, I'm like out of the loop. Right now, there is a couple on 90 Day Fiance. He's American. Uh, she is, I believe, Ukrainian. He doesn't believe in sex before marriage, so he won't like sleep in the same bed as her. Like when they went to, they took a trip overseas together. He sleeps on the couch. She sleeps in the bed. She seems not that pleased with it. Um, also, he uh, is not a virgin. He has had intercourse before, but is fundamentally opposed to premarital sex. That's the and that's like the most normal couple on the show. It's just like there's there's always like one thing that's like, you know. <laughs> Was he married before? Nah, he's like, oh frick. I don't know, he's like 21 or something. I'm not saying you can't be married, he's, but he wasn't. That's the wrong way. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, man. I love the episode where they have like a, a the guy is like 25 years old. He still lives with his parents, which is fine. But then like his fiance is coming to live with the family from Russia. Uh, and his mom and dad keep asking him like, do you have any contraceptive plans? And he's like, no, I don't like condoms. And then 
the parents were like, that's fine, but you should make sure, like, your, your fiancé's on birth control, and he's like, fine, whatever, mom. And then his mom books the appointment for his fiancé to go get prescription birth control from the doctor, even though he's a 25-year-old man. And then they're all driving to the doctor's office, and my man's just in the back, like, playing Nintendo Switch. It's so funny. I'm a little jealous, too, because I'm like, I, I would get car sick, but, like, he's just, he's marching to the beat of his own drum. Let's put it that way. That's never going to work. <laughs> I just couldn't imagine how embarrassed I would be if, like, if my mom had to book my fiance's birth control appointment. Like, you really, like, first, I, I at some point... I, I think the mom's got to step in and be like, no, honey, like, if you want a, you know, a slice of the pie, you got to buy the filling. That's probably the worst way I could have described that. Um, but either way, it's like, you know, like, she's, she's enabling him. Please. It's, why is it rising at Mach 500? But at the same time, like... Come on, like you got just make the doctor's appointment. But then she's crazy too. And which it happens like literally every 90 day couple. Whenever you're like, wow, one of these people, one of the persons in the couple is okay and the other person is insane. It's usually just like, you know, you're three episodes away from like, they go out for a dinner with some mutual friends and then like, her husband and like her, his husband, her husband's best friend, order the same drink, and then she's like, "Oh, they're hiding something." <laughs> they both ordered the same drink. I just mashed. I mashed so many buttons. Anyway, all right, all right, all right, all right. What what are we doing this time? What are we doing this time? This thing's supposed to be freaking ripping, right? You gotta transfer it to the other cart. Okay. To this one. <laughs> it's not even close. This is Elden Ring Network Test. The old medieval cart transfer. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Bless it, bless it, da, 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 lightning bolt. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning, 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 lightning bolt. Okay, um, still got 38 minutes left to make some progress here. I still don't know what 90 Day is. Okay, 90 Day Fiance is a show on TLC. The premise of the show is that in the United States of America, there is a, a visa called the K-1 visa, which is if you are engaged to be married to a foreign national, they can stay and cohabitate with you in America for 90 days before they have to leave the country. So for a lot of these... Um, couples it's like you know we, we got 90 days together to figure out if we want to get married but then like when the the 90th day approaches you either got to get married or they have to leave the country so it's like i lived all right so it's a big deal and you might say like it must be a lot of people like leaving the country then when the 90 days are up nah it's like a lot of people in like pretty Terrible relationships being like, well, I have no choice but to get married or I'll be deported. So, like, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Pretty much. It's, it was like a Law & Order description. I can make it. Okay, I gotta focus. Alright. This is the one. Yeah, this is the one. 227th night. This is the one. 
Doesn't the American citizen have a lot of leverage? It sounds super unhealthy. You would think that, um, but actually, uh, okay, now, like, I don't want to get myself, I don't want to be a bad guy or whatever, but, uh, the only people who end up on this show are consistently the stupidest people you'll have ever seen in your entire life. Um, so I'm not saying there's no power dynamic at play, but it tends it it tends to way less be like a like a controlling uh, senior citizen who wants a, a bride from a country where. You know, they think that marriage is still like it was in America in like the 1950s or whatever. And way more like a dude who, you know, hasn't left his house in a couple of years, but seems like a stud on online dating for whatever reason. And then, so it's basically like, you, you see a lot of like super nerds wearing like Balenciaga t-shirts and stuff and then showing up in in the capital city of Colombia, <laughs> and then <laughs> just not fitting in very well. And then the other thing is, at the, uh, at the end of the season, they get everybody together in one room to dish their gossip on, on each other at the same time. It's kind of sick. Are you even trying to beat the game at this point? Yo, it's hard, man. It's hard. This is a hard game. It's not easy, okay? If it was easy, it would be called um, Doing Your Mum. But it's not. It's called Alt F4. It's the hardest game ever made. <laughs> Look at the pile of corpses here, man. It's not easy, okay? Hey, bring me Thanos. Thank you, thank you. For the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Yeah, every once in a while, there's like a semi-normal couple. Where it, like... So, don't get me wrong. And it, look, inevitably when you talk about this stuff, you're gonna like offend some people. But there's a, there's a decent number of couples that are like, I'm a 65-year-old guy who like, my main hobby is like, you know, telegram and brewing my own mead. And um, I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I've never found like a woman in my own country who like respects that. But for some reason, all these 19 year old girls from Russia seem to be like big fans. Uh, so there's like some of that for sure. But then occasionally there's like couples where it's like, you know, hey, we were on like, I was on vacation in Croatia. And we met at a bar, and we've been talking ever since. And like, they're they're kind of like normal. That that happens on occasion, but they never like make it to season two. I think they just they realize like we should not be on the show with these people who are like getting absolutely enormous butt cheek implants. Like we gotta <laughs> go, we gotta go try to like have a crack at a normal life. What am I doing? What am I doing? I've given up on me! <laughs> okay, try again. Try oh, no, we're, we're, okay, that's right. We gotta save there. Dunk it, dunk it, dunk it, dunk it, dunk I hate to say it, but like one of those. One of the great things about 90 Day over COVID was all the people who, like, already couldn't stand their spouse. Like, they could barely, like, eat dinner together without getting into, like, a shouting match. And then, like, they, they were clinging to this idea, well, at least I'm gonna ha have a great excuse to leave in, like, a month and a half because I'm gonna, uh, you know, be kicked out of the country unless we get married. And then, uh... COVID happens and they're forced to like shelter in place with their partner who they do not like in a country where they like have made no effort to uh, like learn anything about it or fit in at all. So it's, you know, look, there's people's lives, but it is very entertaining. And they're getting paid scale. 
They're getting paid scale, so come on, man. Is Canadian reality TV better than American reality TV? Canadian television is largely pretty bad. There's some bright spots. Um, you know, like, I haven't seen it, but Shit's Creek is well-liked. Letterkenny is very well-liked. I like Canada's Worst Driver. But I'll be honest, like, I think Canada's Worst Driver is, like, not fair. Because so they, they literally get people who cannot drive. And then they have them do shit that I would stand no chance of actually doing. They'll be like, oh, so you can't even, like, drive in drive properly? We're gonna have you reverse through, like, a tunnel of glass bottles that are an inch away from your side mirrors um, without being able to, like, use your rearview mirror. And I'm like, that's just cool, man. You're good. That's just torture. I bet I can make it here. Now we're talking. Boing, 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 <laughs> boing. Boing. Oh, it's these things. I met one of the people on Canada's Worst Driver and they were the worst person I've ever met. Well, it's kind of crazy. Like, literally people will... They will be on the show, like, for drunk driving. And then they'll be like, hey, you're on, like, TV. You want to, like, stop driving drunk? And they're like, I'll never stop driving drunk. I've been in, like, 50 accidents in the last five years and I'm never going to stop. And I'm like... You just, you should just be, like, in prison then, not on television. It, maybe that's a step too far, but there's a lot of people who are like, no, I will never stop using my cell phone to text and drive. That's, I know, I, I'm, I probably said it a thousand times, but, like, that's just, the texting and driving shit annoys me the most, because you're not that important. How many video, or how many views does your YouTube short have? If it's less than 2.6 million and I can go my drive without texting, then, like, you know... Just, just put the phone away for like five seconds. I don't get it. It's two points. Yeah, 2.9 million now. It's not the only me measure of clout. It's the only measure of, of digital clout that matters is your YouTube shorts. I mean, what else could they put? It's not like they're texting like bomb defusal instructions that can't wait. It's always like, oh, oh, make sure it's 2%. Oh, I'm fucking dead. It's never, oh, cut the red wire. No, oh, several people are typing. I mean the blue wire, lol. <laughs> Pensive emoji, like. It's not, it's not worth it, man. Especially we out here in BC, our highways are getting washed away by the damn rain. It's already a jungle out there. Please? 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 Cyclone? That's a good one. What the heck is circle? Like C with an eyeball through it? Save point! Let's go! The icon design. Look, if the devs are watching, whatever. If the devs are watching, I love the game. The icon design is horrendous. I'm sure it's probably just from like a Unity like logo pack or something like that, but it's like, it's really bad. I don't mean like I don't like the way that they look. I mean like they're not descriptive. Which is fine. I'm fine. Please. I thought I could fall down to the level below. What are you giving me, you piece? That's... That's... 
shield. Just shut up, man! There's no way they didn't capture this shit on the TV from like an old Looney Tunes cartoon. God, it, I, I'm so mad that it's so good too. Please, DMCA! This is like Squid Game, man. It's like land the chicken into the guy playing the steel drum or you'll lose your YouTube channel. That one's pretty good. Okay, that's that's the MCA. That I love this song. I'm just upset that this might be the MCA as well. This isn't what I want. I want hey, hey, hey. It's two away. One more. This is inspirational. I can do this. Shut up! Oh my god! Time, man. <laughs> this is so good. Rolling start. Oh yeah. Have you ever had a dream that you, you could you, you want you, you want you, you want you, you want you could you, you, you want you, you, you could you. to you saved are you kidding shoot balls come on oh man what a song this is definitely the song that like your youth pastor walked out to this was your youth pastor's entrance music This is shoot balls, right? Like, this is no good. Holy frickin' shirt balls. So, that just happened. Save, save, save. I need to get on the chopper! The Cage of Mikalash. Saved. Saved. Walk the Plank of Dustin Hoffman. Beautiful. Okay, where the heck? We're getting in the cart? Okay. Oh, the fish! I love the fish! What do we have? We have ball shoot. Just honestly get out of my face. I don't want to see you. Come on. I mean, it sounds like when like Trey Parker and Matt Stone make like a fake song. Like that's the voice they put on. Okay. Dude, these look like cheese bits. The Canadian snack. Like doesn't it? That sounds like if they were to make a South Park like Christian rock boy band. Okay. 
here we go, here we go. You mean the episode where that happened? Uh, I don't know, I stopped watching South Park when I grew uh, my own moral compass. I didn't have to inherit one from Comedy Central. Okay, now we know what we're doing, though. Now we know what we're doing. That's chicken. I can do it. This song inspires me. You ready for this? He's actually so good. Save point! Okay, we don't need it up here yet, though. This is the easy part. Oh yeah. Okay, this is still... This is hard. Now, okay. Hold on. Necessity is the mother of invention. And uh, moisture is the essence of wetness. And wetness is the essence of beauty. Okay, I got an idea. Oh yeah. I regret my idea. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. Thank God, I thought it was getting away from me. Come on. Saved. Okay, we're, dude, we're kind of mastering it, huh? Just call me Philip Seymour Hoffman, because I'm like kind of the master. Okay, get ready. There's a save point here. It goes somewhere. Was there not? Am I crazy? As they cross, you must go. You piece. Bro, what am I doing? This is so much harder than like the other path just to get here. Like, what am I- I'm just covering the whole map, for no reason. Please... Please change the song, I will donate five subs, I'm going insane. I don't do this for the money, I do this for the art, okay? And this song is... If it's not art, I don't know what is, quite frankly. You can tell I'm in it for the right reasons. That's why I have a 25-hour work week right now. It's called Passion, Sweetheart. Rise and Grind. Dude, where the hell am I? Never should have smoked that shit. Now I'm back at the damn start. I'm, I'm a cycle too slow frame frame imperfect Screw this. I'm getting on <laughs> I, I tried I tried Okay, we got chicken strap, but what am I but why you know what I mean? But why you know what we got to do you know at the end of the Hunger Games 2 when Jeffrey Wright and Philip Seymour Hoffman blow up the ceiling and save Katniss Everdeen Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, it's the thought that counts. That's a shield. Dude, I think we gotta take the roller coaster path. I, think, I mean, we're not making any progress today. Guess I'm not watching that movie. Oh, calm, calm down. It came out in 2014. Get over it. Bro, it's Lionsgate. You're not missing out on much. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I'll give you one shot. Tough luck. Hey! 
Yeah, honestly, I don't think spoilers take away from the average moviegoer's experience. More than that, I think it's just that a lot of people on Earth have a victim complex. And uh, rather than have like a conversation with somebody, find common ground and laugh a little bit, they find it easier to just be like, hey, you've psychically assaulted me by spoiling the second Hunger Games film. How dare you. Almost hop, skipped, and jumped my way to drowning there. Not today. Hey, I've never been hit by those cannonballs. That's a start, man. It would be a psychic assault for me to watch that quote-unquote movie. Dude, honestly, Hunger Games Catching Fire? Kind of sick. You're missing out on that one. If you... You don't even have to watch the first Hunger Games, and you... I, I'm making a note here. You absolutely should not watch the third and fourth Hunger Games movie. First movie, half decent. Second movie, quite good. Third and fourth movie, extreme waste of your time. Unless you're 14 years old. I take my chances with the button, man. We don't stand a chance. Why is it so slow? <laughs> This shit's driving me crazy. Is my is my physics broken? Like we weren't even in the ballpark, man. Maybe we can cyclone over it. Run into you. Saved. Okay, this is flawless any percent among us alt F4 run. Get ready. Yahoo. Yahoo. This is new speedrun tech. They're gonna be teaching this at SGDQ. They, they, they teach classes there, right? How to tell people you'd really prefer they be quiet. Plus two. I, I Look, I'm not even glancing. That's so how you can tell I'm focused. Shield, Cyclone. I say no to my shield. Replace it with a new save point. Beautiful stuff, okay? We get through this. Give us two chances at the roller coaster tycoon, please. Forget that. We don't care. I'm, you know what? I substitute my own. But now we don't have a cyclone to get over the thing. Streets 112. <laughs> what? It went through the damn ceiling. I'm stepping out the damn... She's stepping out the damn shower. Like, can I help you? That's bad. Everyone chill. Everyone chill out. It must have been a miracle shot. I'm not getting off. This this train don't. Whatever, we're here. Okay, next save, next save. <laughs> you can make that jump, man. Left side vacuum cleaner, right side unknown. You just gotta run diagonally. the heck's going on in here? Oh! Oh! There were two items, though! Oh, 
Oh, he's just dancing. He's just dancing. Get the hell out of there, man! <laughs> Pretty be careful. All right, yeah, this seems this seems fine. Three, two, one, go. I lived, bitch. Three, two, one, go. I, I tried to roll, but I had a power up instead. Please, I just, I'm begging you for a save, man. I'm not naive enough to think we won't have to come back. Yo, you can take the boats over. You did an incredible job on this, like, Miyazaki esque map design, huh? Okay, that's great progress. I'd say we got like another attempt or so. Oh yeah. I still, I'm stunned, like unbelievably stunned that I was able to hit that button and sneak through. All right, we should probably play unpacking. 